Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, we had a bit of a screw up on Heather's F750GS. First F750GS video in a while. I'm sure you guys missed it. Um, I screwed up. So we have the ABBA Skylift. This is how I tie off the uh, rear swing arm. Uh, it's not interfering with anything. It's it's basically on its own there, just holding onto the cast uh, swing arm. Well, <laughs> I did a screw up where I tied it here and it slid up and did this to my rear chain saver, chain guard. It bent this piece. And so um, it's functional. It's not rubbing with the chain at all, but I don't like that this is bent. And so we are going to replace it. Let me show you that part. This is your part number right here. And here it is. This is your new chain guard. You can see you've got a mount point right here, which is gonna be behind your foot guard, right there. <laughs> you have another, uh, it looks like a T30. That's right here by the suspend by the rear shock. Boom. And then you have one last piece right here, which is also a T30 right there. So um, no need to remove any parts related to the rear chain or swing arm. Uh, just those three bolts and we are off. This is not the same as the, um, the chain guide. The chain guide lives independent from this uh, guard. I would say most people that are doing any heavy off-roading with their F750 or F850 GS um, probably... Um, would just take this off and say, whatever, it doesn't matter. But this is a street driven GS. And yes, I know that chain is filthy. That is one of our to-do lists for winter time. I promise. So um, the only thing that I, that I did not foresee is that BMW, when you replace things, generally makes you purchase the uh, stickers. I did not purchase the sticker, but uh, this, this chain sag setting is in your owner's manual. So it's in the owner's manual and maybe it's actually sleeker not having it on there. All right, let's get to it. So uh, we're just gonna remove these and uh, show you what it looks like with a chain off. So just so you know, the uh, the one down here holding the front end was actually one of these guys. So um, I'm gonna reuse this, but I probably shouldn't. Because you can see here, it's one of those uh, things where you push it in and it expands. I couldn't really get in there to do that. So I don't know, I might not reuse it, but for now I'm gonna use a temporary, but here it is. So as you can see, actually, if you were gonna do a rear shock uh, removal to get to that T50, you really need to remove that chain guard to do that. So it's a kind of a fun fact there for those of you doing uh, shock replacements, which I would love to upgrade this rear shock, but hmm. um, I'm actually gonna, while I'm in here, I'm gonna spray this down and clean things up a little bit. Uh, I won't do the chain yet, but I will clean up some of the, the gunk on the rear swing arm. And we're done. So. Yep, got this in there, T30 down, T30 down, and then this is pushed back flat again. Uh, I, I should actually order and replace that bit, but it'll hold the rest of the winter. But it's in there, it's not going anywhere. So, yep, all because I was stupid and crushed that. It actually functioned just fine, crushed, but I like things being done properly. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hope this is helpful to someone out there. Good luck.